there's only a limited number of times in your life that you're going to go through childbirth and, and we need to make this the best experience we can and all work with the philosophy that you never get a second chance to make a first impression and they make it show every time. Originally came to Chilton in 1990 after finishing my residency and I've been here for 19 years ever since. The community feel to this community hospital. I did my training at a, a hospital in Lower Manhattan and while the nurses were very good, it was clear that this was a job to them. Um, and they came in at their time and they left at their time and it wasn't often that you saw the above and the beyond. And it's a very different environment here at Chilton because this is not only the hospital that the nurses come to work at, but this is where they bring their families. This is where they have their families. Uh, so they take a level of interest in this much more than you would at a typical hospital. And it shows. My second child was born here 17 years ago. Um, and so I've been able to see it from both sides on a personal note. And again, I wouldn't have made any different choice. With great support from the community and from the medical staff, uh, we just completed a major renovation of the unit and it just looks gorgeous. The rooms have all been redone and we went to private rooms totally. So every woman has a private room, doesn't have to worry about sharing that with anybody. Totally upgraded the rooms. We have Wi-Fi access for the families now. We have educational TV for the families. They've put in beautiful enlarged waiting area with an area just dedicated to children with lots of child-friendly entertainment to keep them um, busy. Uh, beautiful saltwater fish tank, uh, complimentary coffee machine, complimentary internet with computer, televisions, lots of things to keep the family entertained during that uh, stressful time. As far as the mother's comfort, every patient gets a massage if she chooses before she leaves, complimentary. We also have a special dinner for the mother and father to really give them uh, you know, time to celebrate and just focus on what they've been through. So there's a beautiful surf and turf dinner available to every family on one of the evenings before they leave. We're very comfortable, very confident, uh, and uh, enthusiastic about the new facility. We're maintaining a connection with the family throughout the labor and delivery experience. Family bonding that occurs uh, right from the start, uh, we want to maintain that, and we find that uh, by bringing the families in, allowing easier access to the patients during labor uh, and immediately after uh, delivery, allows for uh, a much uh, more rewarding experience uh, for the moms. The, uh, the staff and the doctors that we have here at Chilton, we have a, a very dedicated and experienced group of uh, physicians, uh, many with uh, 10, 20 years of experience. We also have other teams of doctors, our anesthesiologist. Uh, we could not practice modern obstetrics without the, the skill that they bring to the delivery uh, process. We also have, uh, most notably, the pediatricians uh, who uh, are available in-house, uh, in addition to the private physicians that will come in uh, on a daily basis and these doctors are available uh, around the clock uh, to support the newborn needs and whatever contingencies uh, may arise. Our moms uh, trust us with their care and we hold that uh, trust uh, sacredly. Our goal is healthy moms and uh, healthy babies. Uh, what we do as Chilton is provide um, perinatology care for women throughout their pregnancies in conjunction with Atlantic Maternal Fetal Medicine. We counsel them um, prenatally as well as throughout the pregnancy, do ultrasound diagnosis, offer genetic counseling and testing for women throughout their pregnancy, and follow them in consultation with their providing physician. We make a, a, a great big effort to make the patients feel comfortable and at ease with the situation. We know that a lot of times, especially in a high-risk pregnancy, women are very nervous about going through the pregnancy and I think that if they could come here and feel like they are working in a partnership where their doctor and their perinatologist and the sonographer work together in conjunction to make it as easy as it is for a woman to go throughout a pregnancy. I think especially in obstetrics it's very important to have these kind of services of perinatology because pregnancy is sometimes unexpected um, as far as what comes up, as far as what happens, and a lot of things um, are picked up or diagnosed along the way that were not anticipated by the patient or the physician. Having perinatology services helps address these issues, helps diagnose the problems, and then problem solve to come to a better solution so that we can have a good outcome for the patient and the baby. I've heard a lot of patients tell me that the care that they received at Chilton made them feel like somebody was on their side 
they were very empathetic, very kind in helping them go through very happy moments and in other less happy, more difficult moments, they always felt like somebody was on their side and was able to give them the care that they needed in a compassionate way. I was rushed to another hospital at one point and I wanted to hold off because I wanted to come to Chilton and I wind up holding off another five more weeks so I could deliver here at 32 weeks. Well, I was kind of an emergency C-section. I was five weeks early. My husband and my mom rushed me here 4.30 in the morning um, and then by I think 8.30 they were calling for a C-section. So they've got the team together very quickly. They brought me back and I trusted everyone here 100% was getting my anesthesia and the nurse, I asked her to hold my hand and she was right there holding my hand because I was very scared. <laughs> so everyone was here waiting once I was out of surgery. Yep, they all got to go right in and see the babies after they came out, so they were very happy. I wasn't allowed out of bed for 24 hours um, and the only way I was able to see my babies was through the webcam because they were in the special care nursery and they brought it in, they set up the cameras on the babies and I was able to watch them the whole night. So it was very reassuring that I could watch my children through the webcam, especially the first night that they were born. I had to leave my children here for about three or four days after I went home, and I was allowed here 24-7. I can call any time I wanted, and they were there to guide me and help me. You know, it was hard to leave them here, and especially being so underweight and five weeks early. My one daughter, Haley, um, had sleep apnea, so she would stop breathing in the middle of the night, but they reassured me that she would be fine. They would not send her home unless she was 100%, um, and they were just very reassuring, very, it, they touched my heart completely because I felt very safe leaving them here. Once I got home, I was able to watch them. I could log on from my home computer, or my husband could log on from his work computer, and was able to watch them. And if my family, I can give them a certain password, my family could go on and watch them also. Um, it was great that we could do that. And now they are three and a half months old and weigh 310 and are 21 inches long, both. Haley has the lungs of the family. Um, Alexis is our chill baby. She kind of relaxes, and but they're both very good babies. Being a mom was wonderful um, to two girls that couldn't get any better. Um, I love shopping and taking them places. We make a commotion wherever we go. <laughs> um, it is wonderful just to see the smiles come back at you and have the eyes follow you when you're walking away. It's, it's truly a blessing to be a mom. What are you doing? <gasps> Yay! We have a great department. To go above and beyond is a pretty commonplace occurrence here. Uh, it's it's the day-to-day -day experiences. It's, it's not just how they respond to a patient with particular needs or a baby who has particular issues, but it's how they respond to every single woman who has a routine pregnancy and an uneventful pregnancy. And they provide the care like it's the most wonderful thing in the world. <laughs>